Hey guys, okay guys, welcome to another moment of cooking with Mini Meg. We've just uploaded a video on the COVID-19 coronavirus outbreak, cooking and what do we do now. I just went to the supermarket, absolutely nothing is there. Nothing at all is in the supermarket, all shops are emptied. Um, nothing no juice no milk nothing nothing absolutely nothing and so we're gonna do a quick um, some, we don't have as much in our kitchen as we used to because now that food is on the ration and um, people are hoarding hoarding and um, storing away there's absolutely nothing to cook as we used to lavishly do but what we're gonna do now we're going to do a mini series as to what parents can do now that the children are home um, or grandparents, you know, sick, um, sick and elderly are at home. Um, pets, indoor pets are to be taken care of. I'm going to show you guys in these series um, what you can do with the little that you have until better days come around again and the dishes are not going to be elaborate and you know as they used to because now there's nothing in the store <laughs> and the fig tree does not blossom anymore <laughs> um, on to better days so the little that we have i'm going to show you guys what you can do to turn your hand to keep some and cook some and then there'll always be food on the table until either better days roll around or things get worse and at that time we'll figure out what to do but i'm going to show you in these mini series up to the minute um as soon as we find some things and we can cook we're going to come back here and show you guys what you can do in little portions to keep bread on your table so yeah this morning we're going to show you what to do with a quick breakfast um that we found we found a few pieces of bacon we found three eggs <laughs> and you can see here there's absolutely nothing in the supermarket so these are what we found in our pantry um, we have just a tiny bit of um, rosemary here and a few pieces of bacon and a few um, some salad and so we're going to use that to make a breakfast I'm going to show you guys how you can use this to make a universal breakfast um, so with this breakfast um, grandma can have something granddad can have something the elderly can have something the children can have something you as the parents can have something and indoor pets like doggy or kitty can have something also to eat so this is where we're going with this new series and uh, we are ready right now to show you we're going to poach an egg and we're going to do some salad and um, the bacon that we found a few pieces and these are leftovers from when we do our massive cooking and then we have all of this leftover we're going to be using a lot of leftovers that we stored away in the refrigerator to do um, post soup or broth and so I'm going to use these up so here we go just follow us in this series come back here whatever you find in the pantry we're going to utilize it and we want it to come along it's not going to be a lot of food it's not going to be a lot of cooking we don't have that anymore now everywhere it's empty but whatever little we find maybe you can find the same in your house and then we're going to cook together okay so let's go we're going to poach the, the egg and then we're going to do, roll up the bacon and the salad and we're going to make something. Okay, so let's go guys. Okay guys, so since we went to the supermarket with an empty basket, came back with an empty basket. Um, we only found a few eggs in our refrigerator. And so I'm going to show you guys what you're going to do. You're not going to use all three unless you necessarily have to. If you can use one and then save back two for later on until things get better do exactly that if you have to use all three do that if you have to use one and cut it in two for two people 
do exactly that. Whatever you need to do to survive this crisis, do it, guys, okay? So let's get. It. So first of all, we're gonna poach our egg, and we're just gonna use one, as I've said before, that we want to retain one for like a couple for later, it all depends on what the crisis is. Um, these bacons were frozen and we just took them out. We thawed them out and we also dried them. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna bring a pot of water to a rolling boil and we're gonna pour some vinegar in our jar here because we're gonna need that vinegar to bring that egg up to get the white together and bring that up to, to the top once it is cooked. So we're going to pour in our vinegar. In. Once the vinegar is in, we're going to need salt. We're going to need some pepper. We're going to need a whisker. Okay. And of course we're going to need the eggs. So let's go to the pot, okay? First, guys, you want to put your water on the stove and bring it to a rolling boil, like what's happening there. Alrighty, and you should have your whisk, scooping spoon, your vinegar, your egg, some salt. A bit of napkin okay and that's what you're gonna do once it start boiling you want to whisk that water whisk the water vigorously okay you're gonna pour in a teaspoon of vinegar and whisk your water again to make sure that is everything is all mixed up mixed up half teaspoon of salt whisk that water again make sure it's really rolling egg is at room temperature break pour in It's gonna roll and come to the top. And this will only take approximately three minutes to be properly done. Make sure your you know your egg is Okay guys, so now we're gonna go ahead and fish out that egg. Right, so now that that egg is done, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna pack that egg dry. And so meet me at the counter, okay? Okay guys, so now that the eggs, the egg is done, we've poached the egg. Okay guys, oh my goodness, I lost my background music. <laughs> so I have to use something else. So um, I was in the pantry looking around what we could find and uh, um, with that I lost the background music so I'm playing something totally different so don't please don't mind don't mind what's going down there don't mind don't mind don't mind um, the important thing is that we're getting this done for a good cause okay um, hey guys so in the pantry I came up with few things. I found some tomatoes, which is really not a lot. Yeah, we gotta let it work. A few tomatoes, which 
we're going to take a couple. We're not going to take all. So we're going to take a couple of tomatoes. And we only have a few left. <laughs> Guys, we only have a few left, huh? And we found some cucumbers, which we're going to use also to make this dish. And we're just going to go ahead and roll up the... Yeah, we found some lettuce also, so we're going to use some lettuce in this here dish. And we're going to go ahead, wash our hands, and then roll up this. I'm going to show you guys how you can use this um, bacon, and then you can have a piece left. Oh, you know save some use some and save some okay okay so since we have we have the poached egg which is also protein so even if you use this in small portion and have some left over that's okay too because the egg is also a protein and what we're going to do to make sure we have a piece left some left left for later we're just going to just roll this up to make you know give us some more um, space to okay and this is beef but you also can, if you whatever bacon you have that's a beef one but whatever you have go ahead and use it you have the turkey too which I don't like it's too yeah the turkey is too dry so um I really don't like that one, but we're going to go ahead and cut this bacon in small pieces. So one piece, and so everybody can get a piece, you know, out of this. Everybody can get a piece. It's, it won't be a lot, but then you will have the egg. Okay, which is another protein. So there you go. That's how we're gonna cut this up. And I have a bit left. This bit that is a little bit um, that is left, you can boil this two times without salt or, or, or oil and sort of boil it and fry it out a little bit, take out much of the oil and Pat it really dry and then you can mix it with your doggy food to sort of, you know, um, stretch his food. So he has something um, that will keep him or her until the crisis is over. So, um, yeah, here we go. We're making the best of it, guys. So we're going to sort of cook this. Yeah, so that's how we make up our bacon. And we're gonna go to the stove, okay, in a bit. Okay guys, so we've decided only to use two tomatoes. So we're just gonna cut them. Okay. And what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and do the cucumbers. So we're just going to use a... And you want to use some now and you're going to use some later. So don't use the whole thing. You can use some for supper or for dinner. So. And that's why I'm not going to slice them the usual way. I'm just going to use some strips. So we can have some for later, okay? So that's exactly how you're going to do that, okay? Then you're going to save some. Maybe we could have some of this for dinner and then for lunch tomorrow. That's how you're going to do that. So these two should say a service if you don't have a big family for three days. If you don't have a big family, okay? Okay guys, so that's what our dish is looking like so far. And we're gonna go to the stove and 
do the bacon and then we're going to come back and put the lettuce on. Okay, so that's where we are right now. Okay, now we're at the stove, guys. So we're going to do the bacon and we're going to put our pot on medium heat. Okay, so it's heating up as soon as that's done. We're going to put in the bacon and we're going to show you how to do these bacons and still have some leftovers. Okay. Okay, guys, now the heat is. Okay guys, now the heat is on medium and just to make sure we have something left, you know, for better days, we're just going to do three pieces, okay? So one, <laughs> two, three pieces and then we're going to keep three more pieces plus one for doggy. <laughs> for somebody else later and one for doggy okay Okay guys, so this is just about done. And we're gonna go to the counter. Okay guys, so now that everything is done, we're gonna do the lettuce part of it. So we have the perfect cabbage. And we have the lettuce. And so we're gonna go ahead and wash the lettuce. We have some here, so we're just going to go ahead and wash really quickly. Once your lettuce is, is, wet, is washed, you want to dry them. Make it so attractive that they want to eat. Um, you know, so this is exactly what we're doing here. Okay, so we have washed and dried the lettuce. I'm going to take a few pieces of cabbage, purple cabbage. I'm just going to go ahead and wash these. Okay guys, so what we're going to do now that we've washed and dried our veggie, vegetables, we're going to go ahead and chop some of this. Okay, so I'm going to use some lemon juice and olive oil to make a kind of dressing 
for this and if everything is Russian you can't get salad dressing and all of that just resort to this don't worry yourself just do what you gotta do to live so you just squeeze the lemon juice about a teaspoon drizzle in some olive oil about a quarter teaspoon put some salt in sea salt just a little Just mix this up. And that's your dressing. Okay, that's the best you can do. Use whatever you whatever tool you have. Okay. Okay guys, so do whatever you can do so that you and your family can live. So that's the best you can do. So what are you gonna do? Um, hardly anything we can do right now, so we gotta live. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to do the best we can. So <sighs> don't knock yourself out. I don't want to panic myself. I really don't want to panic. You know, but so much is happening right now with this bug and this virus. And it's just crazy, you know, just crazy, just plain crazy. Everybody's going crazy and the whole world is in the floor and we gotta do what we gotta do to live. So what are we gonna do? We gonna live. Hmm? We are gonna live guys. We are gonna live. Put your poached egg on. And what you're gonna do, you're gonna put a little salt and pepper on. Okay guys, and put your cucumber on, make your dishes very attractive in these tough days, you know, that the family would want to eat, even though I know children don't really love um, these things, you know, but what are you going to do? We got to live guys, we got to live, we got to live. What are we going to do? We got to live. So put the poached egg on, put your cucumber on. Make it so attractive that the kids are going to want to eat. Grandma and granddad, they're going to want to eat also. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Yeah. Live, guys. We're going to live, so yeah. <laughs> Make this so attractive guys that your family will be squealing. We wanna eat, we wanna eat, we wanna eat. Okay, that's what we're trying to do. Make it so attractive that the family would wanna eat, you know. And that's why I'm going through this extra pain. <laughs> so your family would wanna eat. And then you're gonna drizzle on drizzle on the dressing. And 
if you have a piece of toast or a bagel, that's a dish. That's a dish there, guys. That's the dish. We are done. Mmm. That's it, guys. That's a, that's a crisis dish. This is a crisis dish, guys. This is what we're going to call it, the crisis dish. We're going to call it a crisis dish because that's exactly what it is. That's a crisis dish, guys. That's a crisis dish. That's a crisis dish. What are we going to do? Only the thing we can do right now. You know? And, um... Okay, guys. So what we're going to do is just going to go ahead and cut the poached egg. And then you can always just put a little sea salt on, which we're going to do right now. Okay, so that's it guys. That's a crisis dish. <laughs> that's what we're going to call it. A crisis dish. Because we're in a crisis right now. There's hardly anything we can do right now. So that's meal for your family. That's meal for your family. You're going to make the best of it. You just got to live. Live. Do whatever you got to do. You can serve this as a dinner. You can save, serve it as a brunch. You can serve it as breakfast whatever you want to do but that's the crisis dish so I'm gonna be rolling out another soup a soup coming up with leftovers that we have that's coming up and that's gonna be another crisis meal okay that's another crisis meal so this one here go ahead with this one and try this one and be use use as sparingly as possible so you can have some left over for the afternoon you know something in the house for the kids to eat so there we go all right so until we see you again on behalf of my sister Mag, man this is Mag saying thank you for stopping by on your way out don't forget to subscribe thumbs up comment constructive criticisms guys we, we have enough going on with the worldwide epidemic crisis code vit 19 virus we don't need to make life more distressing so find it in you to be nice okay even if it's not in you just try to be nice leave a good comment what else could I have done differently here is this will this suffice as a family dinner and here everybody can get a you know participate grandma granddad the kids you and um, just make it appetizing and then, then the one little piece that is left you mix it cook it and make it nice to cook out that oil and the salt and make it ready for doggy mix it with his doggy food that goes a little bit longer um, stretch out a little bit longer so here everybody has a meal from this one pot okay so until we see you again in a few we're gonna do a, a soup or something that you guys can live until we see you again you take care um, in this crisis, make the best of it and be safe. Until we see you again, bye bye. Ciao, la bella. Bye bye. Bye bye.